Hello everybody, it's Rob here. It's Rob Bidolf, you know what I look like by now. You also know that I am a children's author and illustrator. Maybe you've seen some of my books before, maybe this one. It's called Dinosaur Juniors. Happy Hatch Day. It's all about Greg. Gregosaurus here. Some of you might recognize Greg from one of my other videos. Maybe you've read this one, it's called Sunk. It's all about this chap. It's called Penguin Blue, who's playing at being pirates with his penguin friends. That's a good one, but guess what? Surprise, surprise, we are here today to do a little drawing together. Does that sound like a good plan to you? I think it does. Now then, today's drawing is slightly different because my friends at John Lewis and Waitrose have asked me to show you how to draw something. They've asked me to show you how to draw a superhero teddy bear. A superhero teddy bear, Rob? Yes, a superhero teddy bear, that's what I said. Your ears were not playing tricks on you. Now the reason they have asked me to draw a superhero teddy bear today is because they are running a competition, a design your own teddy bear competition, super teddy bear competition. And the reason they're doing this is because they want to celebrate the spirit of all of our frontline heroes during this pandemic. And so what they want you to do is you design your own superhero bear and do you know what they're gonna, do you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna turn the winning design into an actual real life fluffy, cuddly teddy bear that they are gonna sell in John Lewis in Waitrose and all of the profits that they make are gonna, are gonna go towards the NHS. <gasps> Isn't that a fantastic thing? <gasps> Can you imagine seeing your very own drawing brought to life and turned into an actual teddy bear? And then it's sold in the shops and is raising money for a brilliant cause. Isn't that the best thing ever? So I said, yes, of course, I will show you how to draw a superhero teddy bear. Now then, you know how this works, don't you? You've seen my videos before. This is, for anyone that hasn't, this is what we do. I'm gonna do a drawing on my piece of paper here. You're gonna grab a pen and a piece of paper of your own. And I'm gonna do this drawing a little tiny bit at a time. Because lots of people, they say they don't think they can draw, but you know what? I say that everybody can draw. It's just a question of knowing the order to do the drawing in. So I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of the drawing on my piece of paper here. Then you can pause your video and you can just copy exactly what I do. Start your video again and I will draw a bit more. Then you can copy what I do. Start it again, I will draw. Then you will draw. I will draw, you will draw. I will draw, you will draw. I will draw, you will draw. And at the end, we are gonna have a brilliant picture of a superhero teddy bear that we can enter into this fantastic competition. Okay, let's start, shall we? Now then, I am gonna start this teddy bear. I really like drawing teddy bears because they're quite easy, actually. We're gonna start this drawing, believe it or not, we are gonna start this drawing by sketching 10 circles. And by the time we finish these 10 circles, you are gonna have a pretty recognizable teddy bear on your piece of paper. It's true, you don't believe me, do you? I can tell you don't believe me. Well, you just watch this. Okay, circle number one. We need to draw this sort of just above center in the middle of our piece of paper. And it's gonna be quite big, this one. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna come around and draw a lovely big circle this sort of size on our piece of paper. Nice and big. Lots of people say, oh, I'm not very good at drawing circles without a compass or something like that. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect, does it? I just think it gives it a little bit more character, actually, if it's not perfect. Okay, circle number one. Now, circle number two is gonna go inside this big circle, and it's gonna be about maybe a quarter of the size. So, I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be right towards the bottom, just so the bottom edge of it almost touches the edge of our big circle. It's gonna be that sort of size, I'd say. Like that. Circle number two. Now, then, circle number three is even smaller, and that is gonna go right at the top of circle number two, inside again. It's gonna be really quite small, this circle. It's gonna be about that sort of size. Oh, mine's gone a bit flat there, it doesn't matter. And again, yes, right at the top our circle can you start to see what's happening here it already sort of looks a bit like a bear i think right the next thing 
we're going to draw. Let's, actually, I'm going to do two little tiny circles. I'm going to change my pen actually to a little small pen because these circles really need to be quite small circles, four and five, because they need to be just outside these circles here. And they need to be about that size. And this time we're going to color them in. So one there and one there. just drawn. I bet you can. I bet you can. Okay, so how many is that? One, two, three, four, five circles. Okay, six and seven. Now this, some of you might think I'm cheating a bit here because you're going to say, well, Rob, you haven't drawn a, to a complete circle. But come on, give me a break. Come on. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do this circle outside the big one, but it's sort of, imagine it's sort of sitting behind there. So I think it counts as a full circle, don't you? We're going to do the other one there because this is going to be our bear's ears. So there we go. Circles number, I've lost count already. I'm not very good at this. I think it's six and seven. And then eight and nine are, I'm using a slightly thinner pen for this. You don't have to, just use the same pen, it's fine. They just go inside those two circles like that. Can you believe we've only drawn circles so far? And then the last circle that we draw before we start doing some different shapes is going to be underneath here. It's going to be about the same size as circle number two. Okay, so about that sort of size. And again, you might think I'm cheating because it's just sort of interrupted a little bit where it goes into the head there. But I think that's fine. Okay, so there we go. We have a teddy bear's head. We have a little teddy bear's tummy there. I think we should we should give our bear a little mouth now. So this is what we're going to do. Before we actually draw the smiley mouth, we're going to draw a straight line that goes right into the nose like that, but it doesn't go right down to the bottom. It stops a little way away from the edge of the bottom of circle number two. And then at the bottom of that, we are going to draw a nice little smiley mouth. Something like that. There we go. That looks rather nice. We've got a nice smiley superhero bear here. Now, I think I might have told you this little secret tip before on another video, but I'm going to tell you again. Now, he looks quite happy, doesn't he, our little bear here? But I want to make him look even happier. So, do you know how you do that? I'm going to add two little eyebrows right up here, right at the top of his head, like that. And look, it makes him look even smileier. It looks like he's really raising his eyebrows. I think that's a bit like a magic trick, that, because it works so well. So there we go, smiley bear. Should we give our bear some superhero legs? So, superheroes, they sort of stand in this sort of heroic stance, don't they, with their legs wide apart. So that's what we're going to do. Now the legs, now this isn't a circle, but it is a sort of oval shape. We're going to do it coming down diagonally from the body and just sort of curving around like that, then going back up. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on this side. Heroic stance of our little teddy bear. Just like that. That's pretty good, isn't it? Now then, the arms are very similar shape to the legs. We're going to do this one coming down here. Like that. But because this is a superhero bear, we're going to do the other arm pointing up like that. Thrusting into the sky. So try and make them roughly the same size. There we go, that's just gonna come back round there. There we go, superhero stance. Now then, that is pretty much our little bear template, isn't it? Oh, should I do a little trick, my favorite little trick? Um, I'm actually gonna use a colored pencil for this. I'm gonna take a blue colored pencil. I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow. Do you remember this? This is my favorite trick of all, isn't it? I'm always going on about this one. But what you do, you take, I'm taking a little blue pencil. You can do it in your, the pen that you've been drawing with though, though that's fine. I'm just gonna add a little bit of scribble like that, just around where our bear's feet touch the ground, just like that. Shall I give you a little bit of a really advanced little art lesson here? If you make that scribble a little bit darker, just press a bit harder with your pencil, right near the area where the foot touches the floor. So you're just going a little bit darker like that. It really looks like a proper shadow. Can you see that? It really looks like he's standing on this surface. Okay, right. So our bear is nearly finished. So what you have to do now, 
you need to you need to design the costume that your bear is wearing. And do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a couple more bits to add just before just before I let you get on with your own design because I think there's a couple of bits that all superhero bears need to have in their costume. So the first thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna draw a sort of egg shape towards the bottom of our bear's tummy, like that. Just sort of a little egg shape like that. And then we're gonna do two lines coming out and going to the side of his tummy from the right hand side, and then two lines coming out the left hand side like that and then in the middle of both sets of those lines let's just two, do two little vertical lines and that is going to be our superhero's belt that holds up his or her underpants because they always wear their underpants on the outside of their superhero costumes don't they i've never known why that is it's not something that regular people can get away with i would say but superheroes some for some reason people just accept it don't they who knows why? Whose idea? Who was the first superhero to do that, do you think? And do you think they were quite nervous when they left the house with their <laughs> underpants on the outside? I'm going to stop talking. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, right. A couple more bits before I let you get on with it. Let's, all superheroes, they wear gloves and boots, don't they? So we're just going to add a little line around there, a little line around there. And they're going to be our superhero boots. And then we're going to add a little line there. And a little line around there for our superhero gloves. Okay, now it's the fun bit because you get to design your costume. A couple of little pointers. Oh, do you know what? Shall I show you how to do a cape? I'm sure most of you will want to draw a cape on you. Most, some superheroes don't have capes, like Spider-Man, for example, he doesn't have a cape, but lots of them do. So I'm just going to show you how to draw a cape. This is what you need to do. If you sort of, let's say about... Two, two, three fingers away from his arm, so about there. Put your pen there, and I want you just to curve up like that and join up with the head like that. You see, I've made a little ink mark there. What a doofus, but you know what? I don't mind. I, I often make mistakes. I don't just screw my piece of paper up and start again. I just keep on going. They're part of the drawing, aren't they? Then what you need to do, put your pen on the end where you just started from there. And this time we're going to go back around here and join up, sort of just near the top of the boot. And then we're going to imagine that line continuing on and then sort of curving up and going into there. And the cape sort of, we're not going to do it around there because I think it would be behind the body like that. But there you go, there's our superhero cape. So now I keep threatening to let you get on with it, don't I? And then this time I'm actually going to do it. So what I want you to do, you need to design the rest of your costume. Now, a couple of things to bear in mind. Most superheroes, they have a little logo, don't they, on their chest. Now, that logo might be the first letter of the superhero bear's name. So if your bear, for example, was just called Super Bear, you need to do a nice big S there. Or maybe it's just something like a star or a target or a heart, I don't know. But you need to think about a little logo there once you've decided on what your bear is called. I mean, the name of the bear is very important as well, I would say. It could just be Super Bear, but maybe if your bear's superpower is invisibility, you could call it Invisibear. Or maybe your bear can stretch, so it's Stretcho Bear or something like that. I don't know. I'm not very good at thinking of these things. What I would say, though, I wouldn't just do your favourite superhero costume design, like Superman or something like that, because I don't think John Lewis will be allowed to make a bear with a Superman costume on, you see, because you have to ask permission and all that sort of thing. So I wouldn't do anything that's too recognisable, Not probably not even an NHS logo, something like that. You should probably steer clear of that and just do your own design. Make up your own bear name, then you've got to think of what colour costumes your bear is going to wear. It might be red and blue, like Superman, or sort of black, yellow, and grey, like Batman. I don't know. Or what does Wonder Woman wear? She wears red, white, and blue, and a bit of gold, I think. But you just need to think about your colour palette, and then just get drawing. And um, I'm going to go into super speed mode to do mine. So I'm going to see you back here in about a minute's time, and hopefully I'm going to have a nice drawing in front of me. So I'll see you in a sec, OK? Here we go. Three, two, one. So there 
we go. There is my finished super bear, my superhero bear. Can you see I added a mask in the end to my bear? And when, I've colored, when I was coloring him in, I've added lots of little lines to make him seem a little bit furrier. And I've done some sort of nice shading little bits and pieces here and there. I can't wait to see what you guys have done. I've given mine a bit of a medical theme here with this red cross. I don't know what to call my bear. Maybe I'll just call, call him the red cross. Sometimes they have names like that, don't they, superheroes? So this is the Red Cross. So the last thing we have to do to our drawings, of course, is we need to sign them, don't we, down here. So, listen, you know the drill, you know how this works. What I would like you to do is take a picture of your lovely superhero bears. I can't wait to see what you've done. But this time, as well as tagging Draw With Rob when you post the bear on social media, if you also do, uh, if you also tag them, hashtag design your super bear, then that will automatically enter them into the competition with John Lewis and Waitrose. Alternatively, you can, you can email them to this address here, this address, which is coming up somewhere down here towards the bottom of the screen, okay? You email them there and that will also enter them into the competition. But if you repost them, if you take your picture and you put them on social media with the hashtags Draw with Rob and hashtag design your super bear. That will enter you into the competition. Now you have to get these in quite quickly. The closing date is the 8th of May 2020. So you haven't got you haven't got long. They have to be in by about 5 p.m. I think on the 8th of May. So make sure you repost your drawings in time. And then who knows? John Lewis and Waitrose, they might turn your bear into an actual real life cuddly toy bear that they then sell in their shops to raise money for the NHS. Wouldn't that be amazing if you won? Fingers crossed that you do. Now listen, it's been lovely drawing this superhero bear with you today. I hope you've had fun. I'm gonna see you very soon for another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, I want you all to take care of yourselves and have a good day. See you later, bye bye.